Thanks for staying with us now. Today, many have found ways to liberate themselves from unemployment globally. And this is largely thanks to digitalization and the world of tech, communication, and social media. Many can now comfortably earn a living from the comfort of their homes, while some others um, have found ways to create multiple streams of income. Um, all from the use of their smartphones and, of course, internet connectivity. Social media has opened a whole new world of possibilities, and all we have to do is start from anywhere, <laughs> as long as we have a phone, a smartphone, and we have data. Now, let us hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join this conversation. Tweet at us at WayShowAfrica1 with the hashtag WayShow, or send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081 803 We'll bring in our guest in the few minutes, but I want to quickly hear your thoughts, AK and Uti. AK, let me come to you first. <laughs> so okay. we're trying to see how, because you know, it's so, it's so easy for everybody to complain, oh, there's no job, there's nothing and all of that. But you see, every day when I, when I um, surf through the internet or when I go on social media, I see so many possibilities. Like today when I was prepping for the show, I saw so many very strange names of jobs. You know, you can just actually just be a researcher and you'll be earning money. You can be, um, what's it called? Um, uh, what's it called? A, a blogger, creator. a content creator. Um, there were different portfolios. In fact, so you, you just took that off my yeah. thought because uh, I just read, read it, um, just wrote it down. One thing that, um, you know, the digital world has done is to create new types of jobs so we are transiting so you see that thing where they say um in the new world we'll all lose our jobs and people have corrected that i've heard a number of people in different webinars saying we're not going to lose jobs okay yes there would some jobs will be outdated but you're going to have new types of job new um let me just for lack of a better word new types of jobs so you have just mentioned um, content creator who if you were not working in TV or, or radio what is content creator who mm -hmm. cares mm -hmm. but now you see that people are engaging content creators people are engaging digital marketers you know and the bloggers and all that but I would say starting any business is always hard so whether you're starting an online business or not um, or starting a physical business it's still going to be a hard start mm -hmm. anyways but the, some of the um, some of the um, challenges that come with having a physical place have been taken away so things like rent which is mm -hmm. actually going to One be a biggest, huge yeah. cost and then things like just operating costs running a, maybe a diesel generator or just running a generator all, of those things have been all these things out. have been taken out you know and then you can multitask mm -hmm. because you're doing it and then startup capital is also low mm -hmm. so um while you know having running a business on the digital space has its challenges is a lot more reduced when you think about it. And the physical, overhead, yeah. yeah. Physical. All right, so let me come to so. Uti. How about you, Uti? What are your initial thoughts on, you know, the topic that we're, we're discussing today on leveraging on, um, what's it called, technology to build a business? Yeah, so, I mean, it offers uh, just a plethora of opportunities, really. And if we look at it, even if we move away from the, um, what's it called now? If we move away from the, small the smes and the small businesses we see that even corporates even larger organizations are all leveraging social media so it's become it's become the norm it's mm -hmm. become critical in every um in in every sphere of business whether it's b2c whether it's b2b you know there's a platform for everyone but the most important thing there is that you're generating engagement the idea is that this is where you come to find um customers to to build loyalty to drive advocacy and to really build a community around your brand. You know, we see a lot of, you know, take the beauty industry. We see lots of global brands, even our local Nigerian brands that have developed a huge following. Mm -hmm. um, there's a particular brand out of Dubai and it has built a following across the world, all from social media between Instagram and YouTube. Mm -hmm. And it's now a household name in the world of makeup. So you can't afford to ignore social media, whether it be on a personal level, or on, uh, on, a, on a business level, because the truth is that's the direction in which the world is going, technology and being able to put your brand out there, whether it's your personal brand or your mm -hmm. business brand, that's it's right. the way forward, it's the place to be. 
Absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'll just bring in our guest. Lanre Basamta is a technology and marketing communication expert of almost two decades. His deep passion for strategy, technology, communications, and marketing has been demonstrated in multiple strides. Currently, in his role as a group head mobile financial service at Interswitch, he oversees a business portfolio covering 14 African countries and providing direct mobile financial technology solutions directly to more than 20 million customers. It's such an honor to have you join us. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us, Larry. Um, I think his mic needs to unmute. Ma Larry, are you there? Yeah, my mic is uh, on mute. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. We can hear you now. Thank you so much for joining us. We know you're in transit, but you had to take out time to talk to us. So um, it, it was important that we thought to bring in an expert, you know, when talking about these things. Now, we are targeting young people in Nigeria, and that's the essence for why we are here on the show. And um, I know that in terms of, um, especially with COVID-19, a lot of people are losing their jobs. A lot of people are, you know, going in and out of uh, employment and all of that. But we know that there's a huge market in the digital space. There's a huge market of the, and there's a huge, um, what's it called, like Utia said, plethora of opportunities for people to actually build businesses from scratch and just, uh, and, and it has also the ability to scale. So maybe in your introduction, you know, what do you think um, would be the starting point? If I say today I want to take on a business and leverage social media to start up something, how should I even go about it? Um, I, I think the best, um, perhaps the most helpful way for me to start is to talk about the incredible value of human beings. Um, we don't pay attention to it because um, as social beings, we take for granted the fact that um, I mean, we'll deal with humans every day of our lives. But the truth is, the most valuable resource in the world are humans. And um, if you start from that premise, then you can imagine how strategic and helpful social media can be. I mean, today and since all of creation, social media is the largest convergence of human beings in the world. So imagine that crude oil is the most valuable resource in the world, and you are sitting on maybe a thousand or a million acres of the most crude oil rich uh, piece of real estate in the world. You can imagine how rich mm -hmm. or how, yeah, how successful you're going to be. I mean, that's what social media gives. So the first thing I would say people should consider is that human beings are very valuable. And however way you are able to converge them, particularly with social media, it means that you're starting well. So by creating an identity and getting people to pay attention to the point that they want to follow you they want to connect to you, they pay attention to what you're doing, and they want to engage the content that you're putting out. I mean, that's a starting step. And it's easy. I mean, the fundamental element of social media is that it's free. So today, you can go on any of the social media platforms. I mean, the regular ones, create a profile, create an identity. It's very much like creating a website on the internet of, of many years ago. Just creating a page or creating an handle on Twitter, creating a page on Instagram. It's like creating an office, a virtual office, where people come to see what you do, where people essentially come to watch you dance. And so that's the first step. Whatever it is that you're doing, creating an identity for it, and doing whatever it is that you're doing enough to grab the attention of others is perhaps the most strategic, fundamental thing you need to do if you're a business person on social media. Absolutely. Yeah. OK, so I, I wanted to follow up with this question, because we know that um, for me, one of the biggest advantages of being on social media is that you have data. So unlike an advert that you put up or flyers, you don't know how many people read your flyers or how many people saw your advert, you can tell down to the location of the people, uh, not just the, the type of people and where they're, you know, the, the probably um, engaging the you from, yeah. yes, the demographic and all that. But do you think that small businesses and people that just go on social media actually use these tools to enhance um, their businesses? Um, I hope you can hear me, right? Yes, yes we do. We can. Uh, the truth is, um, I, mean, I mean, the difference between where you are now and where you want to be more often than not is knowledge. And we should admit, I mean, we should be truthful and frank enough to admit that not many people have sufficient knowledge to optimize the resources that social media offers. So that's the first. But the truth is today, more now than ever before, 
we have the widest or the highest numbers of young entrepreneurs making the best of social media than they ordinarily would have done. I mean, today we see a lot of uh, comedians, a lot of small business owners, shoemakers, wristwatch resellers, people using the value, the network, the opportunities that social media offers to build an enterprise. And so fundamentally, I, I can say confidently that today, uh, uh, there's a whole lot more people using social media, deploying all of the knowledge that they have uh, to, to, to optimize. That, that, that's the first comment I'd like to make. The other bit is that uh, um, as social media and technology evolves, the most important factor essentially are, are, are the users, are the people, are the audience that you're trying to target. So some years ago, I mean, all you needed to do was to write about what you do, to sort of detail and document. Mm -hmm. After many years, we saw the rise and rise of emojis. I mean, people were so used and so conversant with content that they needed more. So people had to add emojis to their writing, to their content, just so they can humanize their content and can grab people's attention. Today, we hear that we're in the age of videos. And so it's going to be difficult for you to, to create a content that engages people without doing that in some video form. So what uh, uh, business owners, business leaders, and, and in fact, business managers, I mean, you don't necessarily have to be a business owner to understand the incredible opportunities and power of social media. As a business manager, your most valuable resource, more importantly also, your most valuable barometer of what success means are the audience. Uh, uh, when, you, when you pay attention to the trends, seeing how people are engaging videos, seeing how people are more interested in dynamic relational content. And as you deploy those things, you're able to not just grab their attention, but you're getting them to do exactly what you want them to do. Mm -hmm. I will end with this. The most impactful influences on social media today almost always deploy video. I mean, the most popular guys you know on social media today, I mean, just think about it. Either they are social influencers, either they are uh, leading business guys, either they are actually leading businesses using social media to realize that much of what they are doing plays around the whole concept of video. So the best benchmark for your progress, the best, the best benchmark that says that you are doing such a good job or you are making the best of it and you are converting as best as you can is actually what the audience wants. And if you pay attention to that, then you're going to reap uh, uh, the best benefit from your investments in social media. Okay. Uti, are you so there? I'd just like to come in there because I'm glad that you talked about the type of content and how it resonates with, with um, users. Now, video is a very powerful medium. I completely agree. And I want to sort of talk about the other, because we've sort of focused on social media for people who will use it to enhance their business. But I'd like to talk about the people who themselves have built a business out of social media. So the influencers, the, the people who are making, I mean, for the longest time, I didn't understand how people made money from YouTube. And then I find out it's a cash cow. It's a gold mine, you know? So it, it, it um, I keep thinking about the fact that it offers this unique um, opportunity of being able to make money and to have a really wide reach. So I'll use an example uh, in the video space of the Ikerudu boys who have been, you know, reach far and wide across the world with, you know, superstars and megastars uh, sharing their content. So I'd just like you to share on some of the opportunities that exist within social media to even get started in a business as opposed to just, you know, using it to market your business, your existing business. Um, I, I don't know if I got the question out of there, but I mean, I, I, I'm sure I picked your comment with respect to um, uh, with respect to people who have built businesses out of social media. So is there a question that you want me to pick or so I'm respond to? I'm sorry. To... I possibly missed that. Okay. So I was actually saying to just yeah, share please. some ways in which, you know, it's not about, social media is not just about you marketing an existing business on this medium. There are people yeah. who have actually created businesses out of this medium. So talking about people like content creators and influencers. So I was saying maybe you could share some of the, uh, your thoughts around that aspect of social media and business. Okay, I mean, frankly, maybe the most uh, uh, the most rewarding sector or segment in Nigeria today is the creative industry. Okay, and the best expression of how people are optimizing their creative talent using social media is what you just talked about. Guys like Ikorodu boys, guys like Mr. Macaroni, guys like this lady who is always receiving slap 
in all of our videos. And the truth is, <laughs> the fun yeah, Tao, God bless you. The fundamentals of business is offering value to customers. Mm. I mean, th that's essentially what it is. In fact, if you remember what we were taught in SS1 about what money is, he said money is a representation or representative of value. So what you call money today is what you get when you exchange value. So essentially what business is, is when you offer value and you get money in return. Now let's talk about business and the whole concept of what you talked about. Remember where the, the premise of where I started from. I said human beings are the most valuable resource. And you have the widest convergence of human beings on social media, right? And so what happens is if you are able to offer value to the most valuable resource in the world on the widest convergence platform that ever existed, of course you're going to make money. Mm -hmm. And so you find that people, particularly creative people, they found beautiful ways to offer, I mean, beautiful but unusual ways to offer value to these incredible audiences and they're making money off it. I mean, you talked about YouTube. Before, we, we always thought about business in the sense of offering a particular service or selling goods. That's what we're taught in economics. I mean, that remains true today. But in our world and in creative world uh, that, that we all belong to now, what value represents is very, very fluid. Mm -hmm. So value to people on social media could just be grabbing their attention. I'm not even talking about making them smile. I mean, one of the most difficult jobs in, in this part of the world is making people smile, knowing that things are not very, very smooth. So I'm not even talking about making people smile or laugh. I'm saying even grabbing the attention of people in our extremely busy, chaotic, and distracted world is a lot of value. I mean... What do you think an MC or a compare is doing in an event? What do we call anchors? They are grabbing the attention of people. So why do we pay anchors one million, two million at events? And why do we find it difficult to pay, I mean, social influencers online? It's because just as an anchor is able to get the attention of the audience at an event, in the same way, people, creative people or social influencers or people who are able to create uh, uh, what we now today call internet business, creative internet business, like comedies, like skits, like uh, uh, jokes, like edits, they are able to grab people's attention to the point that uh, uh, advertisers, businesses consider it valuable, and they give them a lot of money to help them amplify their brand. So it's, a, it's I mean, it's a very interesting way to to not just uh, uh, earn money. It's a very interesting way to build your brand and to build it in a sustainable way. Okay, so when we return, I have a question in line to, with what you just said, then, but we'll take that after the break. Please stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> 